hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here please click the subscribe button and please like this video if you like it today i want to talk about reflecting as a doctor this is going to be a short video because someone requested me to record a video on how to reflect as a doctor and in particular how to do it on the rsc psych portfolio Reflecting is an important part of our lives. If you don't reflect, then probably you don't learn. So when it comes to reflecting as a doctor, there are so many things you can reflect on. I'll talk about the common things that I have personally reflected on. So I have reflected on a teaching or a webinar, something they've given us that I found quite interesting. I have reflected on one. For example, I'll say I attended a webinar on coaching and mentoring and in this webinar i learned this skill a b c d and e how will this webinar help me improve my patients then i talk about that and then finally the rsc psych portfolio will ask you what skills do you think you need to develop further and then i'll say probably i need to attend more courses another thing that you might need to reflect on as a doctor that you will probably have to reflect on is an interesting clinical case we all find interesting clinical cases from day to day. So please find that one particular one that you really want to talk about and express your interest, what you learned about it, how will it help patient care, or how did it affect patient care? Because sometimes it could be actually a significant clinical incident. It is important for us to, to reflect on both the good things or the exciting things and the bad things as well. It is important to reflect on such things and then demonstrate how we are going to learn from these particular cases. Now, the portfolio, the psychiatry portfolio is so good that it, it is so clear. It shows you how to document your reflection. It's divided into three portions. I am going to attach a video here showing you how to actually do it and how it is divided in the portfolio itself. It is very easy and it is very straightforward. So you can easily go on there, type in the date of the incident or the date of the case, the time it happened, how you learned, what you learned and everything. I'm going to show you in my next clip on how to actually do it practically. Now, there are some important things that you need to consider when you're reflecting. The most important thing is please, please do not use patient identifiers. Anonymize the patient information. No one should be able to identify the person you're talking about. This is very, very important for patient confidentiality and privacy. Now, the second thing is you don't need to be wordy. Please, this can be concise. Most people um, find it so hard to reflect because they think they need to write a whole essay about a scenario. By all means, if it was an interesting case, go on to write an essay. But you don't have to. Please try to be brief and concise and be to the point. Those are my key tips on writing reflections. And then the other final thing is you don't need many reflections for your ARCP. One to two reflections is enough. You need to be shown. You need to be sure. You need to be showing that you are a reflective person as a doctor. Please let me know what you think about the next video and watch out for the next clip. Bye. I want to talk about how to create reflections in the portfolio. So normally I go to activities, I say new activity, and then I type reflection. So it also gives you an option to choose. So I choose that, create new activity. So you can put a start date, the end date is optional. You can tag anything else. It could be a reflection on a teaching, on a research, on an audit. Even this is, is, is optional as well. So then you come and put, sometimes um, people reflect on different things. You can reflect, reflect on an incident that happened on your ward, anything that you feel that is worth reflecting on so you can add a tag there so here you come and de describe your experience so i was involved in the care of da -da 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 -da. 
so then you put it there here you put what you learned from the experience and then the feedback and then the things that you need to develop sometimes you feel they are learning needs from that experience and then you most times i first save it as a draft because sometimes i want to edit a few things but after saving it as a draft you can always come back and edit it and then once you're done you can submit it to your supervisor as simple as that